Lindsay. You know, my husband and I have been married a long time. How long? We've been married so long that my oldest daughter is my age. <laughs> I didn't plan on being married this long. <clears throat> no. I stuck around the last 10 years pretty much to piss him off. <laughs> Who would have thought that till death do us part would take this long? <laughs> you know, people ask me all the time, what's the secret to a long and happy marriage? I can tell you what the secret to a long one is. <laughs> Children. Those of you in the audience who are planning on having kids, <laughs> you laugh. It could happen. We have a young girl here, but not for about 30 more years, Ashley. Anyhow, those of you who are planning on having children have natural childbirth. Keep the drugs until they become teenagers. <laughs> My scooter was the sweetest child on the face of the earth. One day at dinner, he says, Mommy, when I get married, I want to marry someone just like you. And out of the corner of my eye, I catch my husband going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One minute, he's a sweet 10-year-old. The next minute, he's this 15-year-old kid who knows it all. And one day we're arguing, and he says to me, So, what'd you have me for? Well, we didn't think it was going to be you. <laughs> we were hoping for somebody with a job. <laughs> yeah, well, he's uh, grown up now. He's in love and he wants to get married. Do you think she's anything like me? <laughs> the first time I met Cinnamon, <laughs> you think that's bad, her mother's name is Andorra, but don't even go there, don't even go there. Anyhow, the first time I met Sugar, I mean Cinnamon, <laughs> she had a safety pin through her eyebrow. I had no idea eyebrows could fall out. <laughs> Well, neither one of those kids are the sharpest cheese on the cracker. <laughs> she thinks finance and fiance are spelled the same. <laughs> he thinks God's name is Howard. Our Father, who art in heaven, <laughs> Howard be thy name. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm a grandmother now. Yeah, I know. It's hard for me to believe I'm old enough to be a grandmother. <coughs> this is how old I am. <laughs> the hot flashes are so bad, I thought I was responsible for global warming. <laughs> Al Gore's been following me around for three days. <laughs> I go to the doctor. He says, you're going through the change of life. Ladies, do you remember when you were going through puberty and they said you were becoming a woman? Well, you go through the change of life and they don't tell you what you're becoming. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm becoming. I'm becoming my father. <laughs> I go to the doctor, I'm on my back with my legs in the air. <laughs> and I think it's just a little excessive at the optometrist. <laughs> <laughs>